Well, Nigel, where did uh, where did that one get away from you today? I mean, Baylor just came out ready to play. Um, been a, been a long, tough one. I mean, I think the game on Saturday took a lot out of us. Um, they came out ready. They got ahead early and then just went from there. Uh, we just got to get ready for the next one here coming up on Saturday. So what was it a little bit of a letdown for you guys then just emotionally after the other day? I mean, just just physically, emotionally, everything. I mean, it hurt letting one get away from us like that. I mean, it's tough playing, um, you know, games back to back kind of like this with only a few days of rest. But I mean, there's really no excuses. They came out, play hard. Uh, we just got to get focused, um, move past this one, get ready for Saturday. What, what what kind of adjustment did you guys make there in the second half after Selton went down? I mean, it's tough, you know, losing a guy like Selton. I mean, we, we really just, you know, it was kind of late in the game. Uh, do you make really anything big adjustments? But, I mean, second half we came out, we feel like we need to, you know, cut into their, the lead that they had. I mean, um, we've seen that KU was able to cut into our league, so we, we came out with energy to try to cut into their league. But um, they were able to keep the lead ahead, and we weren't able to come back from it. Thanks, Nigel. Uh, next, next question, question to Michael. Yeah, Nigel, how much did uh, Baylor's length and quickness kind of bother you guys tonight? I mean, they were good. They were good with the ball. I mean, we always knew uh, this type of Baylor team that at least as long as I've been here, they've been good on uh, with the ball in their hands, the good movement without the ball and things like that. So, I mean, we knew they were going to be tough to guard. Um, I just felt like fatigue ended up getting this to, to us today. Um, but there, there's definitely no excuses. They came out really well, but we'll see them definitely again um, at Bramlage. Uh, just expound on that. Do you feel like you guys' legs were there for uh, tonight, making this trip after after the rough one on Saturday? I mean, personally, I kind of feel that way, but there's never going to be excuses coming from us. Um, nobody wants to hear excuses. Um, it's definitely a tough one. I mean, K took a lot out of us, but we got to be better. I mean, just, that's how the league's going to be. Um, that's how the NCAA tournament is going to be. That's how the Big 12 tournament is going to be, where back-to-back -back games are going to be a thing. Um, we just got to be, be better. Um, we got a big one coming up on Saturday. We've got to get prepared for that one. Yeah, what kind of special looks did they run at you tonight, you specifically? I mean, I always knew um, teams are now starting to scout out there, especially having a big one against KU. Um, they're going to scout harder. They're going to guard harder. Um, I just missed some, some easy ones early. I feel like I could have I could have made and should have made. Um, kind of took me out of the rhythm. Uh, missed some easy ones, missed the layup. But, I mean, they, they did well. I mean, but that's what I'm expecting from now on. So I just got to be better. Um, got to get my teammates more involved as well. Thank you, Nigel. Uh, next next question, question to Cole. Yeah, hey, Nigel. I'm just curious. When you have a loss like you lost against Kansas and then you have a loss like you did tonight against Baylor, is it almost easier to kind of wipe off this loss and move forward? I mean, no loss is easy to wipe off. I mean, we're all going to think about it. Everybody's probably going to watch the film on the plane tonight. But, I mean, tomorrow we got to have short-term memory. we got to forget this and let this go because the beauty of this league, we get to play everybody twice. Uh, we get to see him again, but we got a very important game coming up this Saturday at Ole Miss. Um, that's the one we need to have. Uh, so I, ho I hope my whole team has short-term memory, forgets about this one, but doesn't forget truly about what happened and what we did that got us in this position. But we got to be ready for Saturday for sure. I mean, you know, you talk about Saturday. Obviously, it's the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Just is it kind of nice to take a breather from Big 12 play and then uh, as you go play somebody who you don't normally uh, get a chance to play? I mean, yeah, it's definitely nice to be able to play somebody outside your league. I mean, you get to see, you know, how, how talented, you know, different leagues are in the country. Um, the SEC is definitely a very talented league. Ole Miss is definitely a good team. Uh, this is a game that we need to win. Um, these are the type of games that um, you need for, you know, to get some bids for the NCAA tournament. So, I mean, this is a game that we must have. It's going to be a tough one on the road, but we got to have it. And last question for me, uh, for you specifically, Nigel, do you feel like you kind of mentioned it, do you feel like teams are going to start circling you and, and looking at you as the guy that they really have to stop in order to stop Kansas State? I mean, it, it just depends. I mean, I feel like guys are definitely looking off scout. They're definitely going to, you know, see, you know, my abilities and things that I'm going to do and try to take those things away. But we got a lot of talent in this team where they can't primarily focus on me. But then again, they're, they're going to have a focus where they need to, hey, we can't let this guy go off and get 20-some, 30-some points like he did. Um, the other day, it just gets kind of everybody going. But I mean, um, this is definitely something that, you know, I'm not really a coach. I don't know how coaches scout, but this is definitely something they would, I would think they would lock in on. Thanks, Nigel. Other questions for Nigel's before letting go? Okay. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you.